what is the thread pool in C-sharp? The thread pool is a class which belongs to the system threading namespace. And as the name suggests, it provides a pool of worker threads that can be used to execute tasks. So why do we need this class? If you go to the Microsoft.com website, you can read about the class and it states that many applications create threads that spend a great deal of time in the sleeping state waiting for an event to occur. This means that in many applications, the threads are created and they are not used efficiently. And as you know, creating a thread comes with a bit of overhead and that can be quite expensive. The thread pool is really effective when your application needs to create a large number of tasks to perform and each one of these tasks is relatively short. On the other hand, if you want to perform a long running operation, you might be better off creating actual threads. Since the long running operation can tie up the thread pool threads and lead to thread pool starvation. And in this case, it might be more appropriate to create a dedicated thread. Okay, now let's take a look at two examples, which actually do the same thing. But in the first one, the one that you are seeing on the screen, we are actually using a dedicated thread. We have our method here, which is called some method and simply prints to the console. Hello from the dedicated thread. And then it prints out the thread ID. Now we are creating the thread here. We're starting the thread. We sleep for one second and then the application ends. Every time new thread is actually called, we are creating a new dedicated thread, which can be quite expensive. If your application creates quite a few of these, since each created thread uses significant amount of memory. And also if you create too many threads, the application will actually start switching from one thread to another, which can also can be quite resource expensive. Now let's run the application quickly. And you see our method get executed and it prints out hello from the dedicated thread. The thread ID is three. Okay. And here's the second example. I have changed the sum method, print out hello from the thread pool, and then again prints the thread ID. And now we are not using a dedicated thread, but we are actually using the thread pool. This means that the thread pool will use one of the existing threads once their tasks are complete. And this saves resources and time on creating and destroying a new dedicated thread. And just to summarize, we should be using the thread pool if you have many short-lived operations in your application because the thread pool minimizes the overhead of thread creation and destruction and you can use the dedicated threads when you have long-running tasks. Since these can tie up the thread pool threads and causing other queue tasks to wait and potentially leading to thread pool starvation. And this was a very quick introduction to the thread pool in C-sharp. If you want to learn more, you can go to the official documentation. And as always, you can go to our website, codeprepping.com, if you want to practice your C-sharp skills. Thank you for watching.